honestly could have put on something way cuter for this uh, video, but one, it's like negative a million here in Canada, and this is toasty, and two, I didn't want to have to put a bra on, so <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Why can't I speak English today? Ah! <laughs> It's Jay, and today I'm here with my Buzzword-a-thon wrap-up video. I think this was the second round of Buzzword-a-thon. It's a readathon that is hosted by Lala over at Books and Lala and Natasha from My Reading is Odd, and they choose a buzzword and you have to read books with that word in the title. This round they chose the word lie and I ended up reading four books, so without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I read for the Buzzword word -thon was This Lie Will Kill You by Chelsea Pitcher. It was on my most anticipated releases video when it first came out. It was advertised as Clue meets Riverdale and I just thought that it sounded really cool but I didn't like it as much as I wanted to. I ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It follows five teenagers who one year ago attended a party where a boy ended up dead. Each teenager who attended that party played a role in the person's death but they've never talked about it since that night. All five of them receive an invitation to compete for a scholarship but they quickly discover that the person who is behind the scholarship is seeking revenge and they may not all make it out alive. The book was entertaining for the most part and I did have fun reading it but it definitely fell short for me. Everything just ended up tying up too nicely in the end and it left me wanting more from the story. It was just really predictable right from the beginning but the writing style was fun while I was reading it and it did leave you wanting to know what happened next. The characters were all super one-dimensional in my opinion. They all had a clear-cut reason why they were in the story and how they were going to progress the storyline and it just was kind of annoying to be honest. But overall, it was a fun read and entertaining, but nothing memorable in my opinion. The next book that I read for the Buzzwordathon was One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, and I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. I'm definitely happy that I finally picked it up. I've had it for a while, and I've heard a lot of buzz about it, and it was a lot of fun while reading. It's about five teenagers who enter detention one day, but only four of them come out alive. All four of the remaining students all have secrets that they're hiding, which makes them a suspect in the murder investigation. I'm usually pretty hesitant to pick up overhyped books which is why it took me so long to read this one but I actually really enjoyed it. I think that all the characters were pretty unique and they all had their own personality and voice that made them easy to tell apart. I really loved the alternating perspectives between the four remaining teenagers and I loved learning their backstories and the secrets that they were hiding and how they grew from those secrets. I also really liked how their friendships grew between the four teenagers and how they each had a different relationship with each other. It was really cool to watch or read because you're not really watching it, but whatever. Although the big twist was super obvious right from the beginning of the book, it didn't take away from my enjoyment. I still thoroughly loved the story and I thought it was a really fun way to tell a like murder mystery. The next book that I read is called Lies You Never Told Me by Jennifer Donaldson and I give this a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm going to have like a full review up on my channel sometime soon. Who really knows when with me? I filmed it, haven't edited it yet, so stay tuned for that. But I give this a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved it so stinking much. It follows Gabe and Elise who have never met but they both have a story to tell. Elise has never liked being the center of attention so when she is cast as Juliet in her high school production of Romeo and Juliet, her and everybody else around her are very surprised and that's when she starts getting the attention of somebody she never thought she would get the attention from. And then Gabe is fed up with his super popular bitchy girlfriend named Sasha who treats everybody including him terribly. So he decides that he is going to break up with her and he quickly realizes that, that Sasha is going to stop at nothing until they are together again. I definitely did not expect to like this as much as I did. I thought it was super suspenseful and just the whole tense feeling you had while reading this made it so much better. Honestly, the whole cast of characters are so diverse and they're really relatable and honestly just the way they react to the situations they get into is just relatable. Like 
I would react the same way that these people reacted. It's also told in alternating perspectives between Gabe and Elise in two different timelines then and now and it was just really cool the way the author did it because it like alternates between the two of them but also the two timelines but it's done in a way that doesn't disjoint the story in any way but every chapter has left you on a cliffhanger so you're reading Gabe's perspective and you get to the end and you're like okay but I want to know more but then you're reading Elise's perspective next and you're like okay but I wanted to know more about her too so like it's a nice trade-off if that makes sense. I'm usually pretty good at being able to tell the ending of stories and how things like come together but this one I didn't see coming and that was like a moment for me. I definitely recommend it if you're into thrillers. It was it was a heck of a good one. I'm just gonna say that. And then the fourth and final book that I read for this readathon is called Lie to Me by J.T. Ellison and I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I'm probably gonna have a review of this one up on my channel as well so stay tuned for that. Have not filmed that one yet but we will. The book follows writers Sutton and Ethan Montclair who seem to have the perfect life but then Sutton goes missing and all fingers point towards Ethan. Their secrets come out as the investigation continues and people around them start to realize that they may not be the perfect couple that they once thought they were. The book is super fast paced and keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. None of the characters are very likable but you still root for them because you want to know what happened to Sutton and you want to know if Ethan is actually guilty. It's told in alternating perspectives between four people, Ethan Sutton, the investigator, and then a mystery unknown narrator, and the mystery unknown narrator, their voice is so creepy and it's so obvious who it is but like you can't help but be like this bitch crazy. It's a pretty predictable storyline, but honestly, I was so here for it. It was so riveting and exciting when you read it. I listened to it on audiobook, so that might have changed my opinion on the story. I honestly don't know if the rating on Goodreads is high or low. The audiobook is told with different narrators for each character so I think that also helps my enjoyment of the story. I read that a couple of people find it kind of confusing when they're reading it to see who the narrator is. It's told in four different parts. Ethan is the first part, Sutton is the second part, and then the third part is like everyone it's called. And then there's like the mystery narrator in between all of them. I found it pretty obvious who was talking but I mean again audiobooks so that might be why. Overall I found it super entertaining and addictive. I couldn't put it down so definitely recommend it if you're into thrillers. Alright guys so that was my buzzwordathon, readathon, whatever you want to call it, wrap up. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!